Hi, I'm Seth Jarvis, a local theatarian and uh, movie lover. I was the video buyer for the late Waterfront video for many years and currently work for Vermont International Film Foundation. And I'm here to introduce His Girl Friday, which I'm very excited to do because it ranks alongside my very favorite films. It's, it's in the top ten, I would say. Um, his Girl Friday is a classic screwball comedy uh, released in 1940, directed by Howard Hawks, and it's been called the fastest comedy on record, and I think that's a claim that it can still make 75 years later. Um, it's this uh, fast-talking, wise-cracking, antic, madcap farce about journalism and romance and ideological debate. Um, and I, I think it's actually the, the speed with which the banter flies and the hijinks ensue that actually allows for some of the more subversive elements to just slide by. It, it's easy to forget when watching it that the entire plot actually revolves around murder and suicide and political corruption and all manner of illegal and immoral and unethical shenanigans. But it's all such breezy good fun um, that we, we can forget that. So the story's about an ace reporter who decides to step away from the newspaper business and settle down, and the editor, who has no intention of allowing that to happen. Uh, it actually began life as a stage play. Um, it was called The Front Page, and it was written by two former Chicago newspaper men, Charles MacArthur and the great Ben Hecht. Um, and it was uh, premiered on Broadway in 1928 and became an immediate hit. And it actually got adapted into film several times um, over the years. Uh, the first was in 1931 by director Lewis Milestone. And it's a, a decent film, um, especially for an early talkie, because it showed uses of dialogue that were uh, a little more forward-thinking than uh, a lot of the early talkies were. Um, it was uh, made in 1940 by Howard Hawks, uh, and then it uh, was made several times for television films, including once as a series. And then Billy Wilder made an adaptation of it in 1974 with uh, Jack Lemmon, Walter Matthau, and Carol Burnett, um, which is very amusing. It's not, uh, not a masterpiece, but, but it is very amusing. And then in 1988, it was also remade as Switching Channels with Burt Reynolds, Kathleen Turner, and Christopher Reeve. But the less said about that one, the better. Um, the classic version remains the 1940 His Girl Friday. Uh, in the play and in most of the film adaptations, the reporter and the editor are actually two men. Um, and the story has it that during the re rewriting and the adapting of it, Howard Hawks called in one of his secretaries to read one of the roles. And that's how he chanced upon the idea of turning the character of the reporter into a female. Um, and the best part is they didn't even change the name. It's still Hildy Johnson. Um, and in addition to adding this great romantic triangle to the plot, they also created a role that, as played with such gusto by Rosalind Russell, I think is one of the greatest female characters in the history of American cinema, in my not-so-humble opinion. I think when we talk about the uh, lack of strong women characters in film, what we're really talking about is the lack of real women three-dimensional women, actual human women. Um, and I think the character of Hildy Johnson is a, a perfect example um, of, of a great female character. She is uh, romantically entangled. She's at a vulnerable personal crossroads in her life. But she's also the best damn reporter in town. And she demands respect of everyone she encounters and uh, holds her own with everyone. Um, and then that paired with Cary Grant, I mean, it's Cary Grant. <laughs> uh, there's, there's, he was an American treasure. There's really no one else quite like him. He was a romantic leading man for four decades. Uh, Cary Grant could walk into a room and immediately make love to everyone in it. Um, and in addition to being so suave and debonair and, and effortlessly charming, he could also be totally goofy and wild. His, his earliest training was in vaudeville, so he could take a pratfall with the best of them. And the chemistry between Grant and Russell is electric. Um, I, Howard Hawks loved a, a sense of camaraderie, and I think that's a hallmark of his best films. Um, 
And he also loved using more naturalistic sounding dialogue. He, he loved it when characters cut each other off or people talked over each other, which is in, um, can be seen in abundance in His Girl Friday. To create this more naturalistic sounding dialogue, he allowed for improvisation and ad-libbing, which then allowed for Grant to drop in some great meta winks. At one point in the film, he refers to a character who had earlier double-crossed him by the name of Archie Leach, and Archie Leach is Cary Grant's real name. Um, he also, at one point, describes the character played by Ralph Bellamy by saying, he looks like that fella in the movies, you know, Ralph Bellamy. So it's a pure Charlie Kaufman territory, 70 years before Charlie Kaufman was writing screenplays, and I think that's, uh, I think that's great. Um, I first saw the film as a teenager um, during a, a summer movie club, and it was my introduction to the world of screwball comedy, to Cary Grant, to Howard Hawks, to Rosalind Russell, all these great character actors, um, and it, it uh, helped instill a love of, of both screwball uh, comedy in particular, but also classic cinema in general. Um, and I've returned to the movie repeatedly um, over the course of my life. You know, every five or six years, I will rewatch it, and I always find new pleasures um, in it. And so, so I enjoy it. Uh, a great deal. Um, it is one of my favorites, and uh, I'm very excited that Burlington Film Society Presents um, and RETN are going to show it. And I think whether you're watching it for the first time or the 50th time, it is uh, something to be enjoyed and savored.